Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight, all in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. Well, this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. And as you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head. That Has a pop! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. Alexandro. Alexandro drives it forward. Meunier. Paris Saint-Germain have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Dybala. Last-ditch defending, but that'll do. Juventus have it back, and they can go again. Dybala. Bentancur. And here's Higuain. And the half-time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which...